We are doing a massive declutter today, con my method style. Today's video is also sponsored by Kiko. I will get into that more later because we got a lot to get done, so let's get into it. It's been a while since I've done a dedicated and thorough declutter day and it has caught up to me. So today we will be decluttering my office and one of my storage closets that have gotten quite out of hand to the point that I don't even really know what's in here and that's a problem. So we are going to con my method style, declutter these spaces and then put everything back in an organized fashion. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Mai and I have been on a decluttering journey for the last several months following the bones of the KonMari method in my lazier subpar version that I have dubbed the KonMai method. And it's been a great journey so far. I would even say life changing, but I have slowed my roll a little bit in the last couple Couple months because I like to think of myself as a tortoise. Now hear me out. We all know the story of the tortoise and the hare. I could be a speedy little hare and just rush through decluttering my entire home in like a month because even if I sped through it, it would have taken an entire month. If you've been following this journey, you know how much stuff I have. It cannot be done in a day. Anyways, I could have been a speedy little hare, rushed through the process, maybe gotten rid of some items that later on I felt like I should have kept, live with regret, and that regret would have made me start hoarding again because I don't want to get rid of anything I want to keep and then we'd ultimately be back to square one and we don't want me to be a hoarder again do we or I could be a thoughtful little tortoise like I am <laughs> and declutter space by space giving adequate time between each declutter day to really assess how I felt about it if I regret getting rid of anything if I should do anything differently in the future and just learn from each declutter. Taking my time has also allowed me to really maintain the spaces that I've already decluttered so that they don't get out of control and like cluttered up again. Then once I feel up for it, like today, I can then do a full declutter day and go into it with more knowledge, which is ultimately more power. So that's my excuse as to why it's taken me so long to get another decluttering video up and I'm sticking to it. So let's get to decluttering now. We always start with the first step of the KonMari method, which is getting everything in the room into one spot that way you can see just how much you really have while I am doing that I'm going to shamelessly plug my channel and my social media subscribe to my YouTube channel for more motherhood cleaning decluttering and shop with me content and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. both are just at my Zimmy I'm not gonna put this on the bed because for obvious reasons, I don't want this to spill. I don't wanna lose these earrings, so I'm just going to wear them. I had to like break through the skin because I haven't worn earrings in so long. Ow. All right, I just re-pierced my ears. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> I feel like every, it wouldn't be a My Zimmy decluttering video if there weren't just empty boxes of pokies lying around. I've run out of room to add more stuff to the bed without, you know, fear of it falling down and crumbling and things breaking. I, I need a place to sit, obviously, so I will sit there. So after we clear off this bed, I'm going to pile up the stuff in this storage closet that's just a mess right now. <laughs> Every time I get to this portion where I just like pile everything into one place and it takes so long and it's so much stuff and it's so many pounds of things that I have to move, I'm quickly reminded just how out of shape I am. Now that everything is on this bed, some of it is also on the floor, I have several organizations bins or baskets to help me stay organized throughout this decluttering process. Let me show them to you. This is the organization station that's going to help me stay organized throughout my decluttering. I have a keep bin, an extra keep bin over here once that one gets overflowing. I have a literal trash can for all the trash that might just be chilling up there. We got a donate bin and then we have a sell bin. And then we have items that are maybe seasonal or not used all the time or crafting items that don't need to be out all the time. And that is what I got these hefty storage bins for. With all that being said, I'm still surrounded by a mountain of items that could come crashing down at any moment. So I need 
to, to get going here. The next portion of the KonMari method is where we start veering into the KonMai method. Marie Kondo, during the decluttering process, wants us to pick up an item one at a time, ponder if, if we need to keep it or not, and if we keep it, we, we keep it and find a home for it. And if we aren't going to keep it, we are to thank it and let it go. But my kids are only in preschool for so long. I don't have time to do a ton of pondering and I definitely don't have time to thank each and every item before I let it go. There's a lot that needs to be let go here and I don't think anyone wants to watch like a 10 hour video. So in lieu of thanking each individual item that I get rid of, I'm just going to do a collective group thank you to everything on this bed right now. Thank you everyone on this bed for serving me any way that you have. Whether I decide to let you stay or go, it's not personal. Thank you. Okay, now some it's just gotta go. So let's get started. The first thing I have here are Dashing Diva nails, which I have like a larger container where I keep all my different nails. I've talked about them in multiple videos, but I need to find the home for that one. So I'm just setting that to the side right now. Next, I have this quick and easy label maker that I just got off of Amazon. It can, it prints in like less than 10 seconds and it just looks very simple like this. It doesn't make the prettiest labels in the world, but it's more aesthetically pleasing than my chicken scratch writing. So this is a definite keep going in the keep bin. Everything I mentioned in this video, I will have affiliate links down in the description below like I do for all my videos. Some of my Cricut supplies, this is my Cricut machine is what I use to make prettier, more aesthetically pleasing labels. I have so much Cricut stuff here. I am going to take one of these hefty bins and start a just Cricut supplies, crafting supplies bin that everything can go into. Cause right now it's sitting in like three or four separate boxes. I need to consolidate it all into one. All right, so I'm just gonna start putting all my Cricut supplies in there. I need to start being better at organizing my papers because I have just a gross amount of papers just all over the place. There's more over here, like just piled up everywhere. I got these file folders from Target to help me keep my papers more organized. I have one for personal and one for business. And in each of these file folders, you know, it's, we've all been to school before, right? Like there's just all these different files and hopefully this makes it easier to file away the papers properly so I don't lose stuff. Because this last tax season, let me tell you, I had to spend so so much time going and finding the proper tax documentation for everything because I just lost it. And it was such a waste of time. So now with these file folders, all my important tax documentation has a specific area that it goes into as soon as I receive it so that next year, it takes me two seconds to get all of my tax documentation and not several days. Some of these important papers that I've kind of just quickly filed away here, I'm going to take the time and put it in the proper files right now. Oh my God, it's just like an endless amount of papers behind me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this off for a second. You'll see me in another second, but just know it's probably been an hour of me going through papers and properly filing them so that it can just be done with. And I'm, I'm going to hopefully maintain properly filing them at least every few days so that it doesn't pile up because it piles up so fast. One hour later. Okay, I'm back. All of the paper is now filed away nicely in my file folders. It feels so good to have all the paper away. Comment below, how do you guys organize your paper? Do you have a file folder system like this or do you have something even better? Please let me know in the comments below because paper clutter is the absolute worst in my opinion and that's the first thing that starts piling up around my house. All right, let's keep going. We got a whole bunch of jelly beans. If I'm remembering right, it's all the crappy flavors that I didn't like. Oh, my GoPro charger case and my AirPod case going to keep this. So I 
I keep a lot of cases. When an item is over a hundred dollars, I generally keep the packaging because if I do end up wanting to sell the item, I have found that I'm able to always sell it for more money if it's in the original packaging. I obviously am truthful and say that it's used but like new and comes with original packaging. But yeah, even though it's used, people will pay more if it comes with all the original packaging. So I always say this and actually, I'm going to start a bin. I'm going to get the shorter bin and the shorter bin from now on is going to house all my little packaging for all of my pricier items. Okay, I changed my mind because I just realized as I was getting it, I have some larger packaging from my Cricut machine that needs the larger box to fit. I do not foresee myself selling any of my Cricut items anytime soon, but just in case I ever upgrade or get gifted the newer edition, I still have this. I have all kinds of gift cards that I need to put in my purse so I actually remember to use them. And oh my gosh, you're gonna die when I show you what I just found that I had lost track of and didn't know where they were. Disney Fast Passes. I have five Disney Fast Passes here. So this is hundreds of dollars that I had misplaced and could not find. We got these Disney Fast Passes. We won them in like a raffle type thing. So we were really lucky to get them in the first place. But as soon as we won them, the entire world shut down because of 2020 things that happened. So in, you know, 2020, at some point, I stored these away, misplaced them, didn't know where they were, and now Disney is open again, and I've been hoping to make it there in 2021. So thank God I found these, because this saves us so much money. I am putting these in a very safe spot right now so that I don't forget. Okay, raise your hand in the comments if you go to the Japanese dollar store Daiso. It's not technically a dollar store anymore. They've increased their prices, but I got these from the Daiso store. They're cleaning items. It's like a little eraser and it's supposed to erase water stains. There's this cleaning eraser that looks like you're supposed to use it on ovens. It's supposed to clean your grout. Sometimes they are just kitschy little items, but I'm hopeful that they're miracle products. I got this easy liner just from Walmart. I have a longer roll too somewhere in here, but I'm keeping these because in a future organization video, I really want to line the cabinets in my kitchen just so that things go in smoother. It looks cleaner. It looks nicer. I, I hope to do that soon. All right. This looks like an overnight bag that has just been sitting in here completely unused. So let me empty this. We have a whole bunch of masks. Don't need these anymore. The hand sanitizer, still need this. Oh, my Xanax for when I have to travel on flight. I am so scared of flying. So I specifically have Xanax that I keep in this little travel bag to help me cope through the flight. And then I have a bunch of clothes that just needs to go in the laundry. Okay, next I have stuff that needs to go into, oh God, there's so much stuff. All right, let me get this. Okay, all these clothes I'm putting into my Cricut storage box because there are blanks for future personalization shirt projects. Okay, next I have just an enormous amount of baby stuff. The three things here are baby registry freebies that were mailed to me at the Target one, the Amazon one, and the Walmart freebie. I will have links below if you wanna sign up and get any of this for free. But I mean, these are all really hefty. I was thinking about doing unboxing videos on my channel. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna give all of these away to one of you watching if you're expecting or just had a baby. Leave your due date in the comment section below and I will choose one of you to send all this baby stuff to. And any of the other baby stuff I have, I will send it to the winner. Comment your due date below along with your Instagram handle. That way I can actually reach out to you and let you know you won. I'll announce the winner in my Instagram stories. But yeah, a lot of baby stuff. 
that can go to someone who has a baby. I do not currently have a baby, but I have had babies. And now I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Kiko is today's sponsor and I always like to give a big thank you to our sponsors because they are ultimately funding my children's education and futures. I've talked a little bit about bottles in the past on my channel. With my three babies, I personally always used anti-colic plastic bottles, but I pondered getting glass. But ultimately, I always stuck with plastic because I was always scared in a house of multiple rowdy toddlers and babies that when I was taking a quick bathroom break or washing dishes or doing whatever, that someone would drop a glass bottle, it would shatter all over the floor, they'd pick up the pieces, cut them, like just no bueno, you get the gist. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. The reason I am sharing the Kiko Duo is because it is the first ever bottle that combines the benefits of glass and plastic. How you may ask? Well, let's have this scientist who's much smarter than me explain it to you. The first hybrid baby bottle that combines the purity of glass and strength of plastic. The Science Inside Duo is a patented breakthrough technology used in the medical and pharmaceutical industries. The plasma-enhanced vapor process permanently bonds multiple micro-thin layers of Invinciglass to a plastic outer layer. This forms an invisible, pure glass inner layer that's breakproof ensuring your milk touches pure glass. So as science explained, they have a 100% pure glass inner layer that shields milk from the plastic exterior, and the bottle as a result is still break proof and lightweight. The lightweight portion is something I forgot to mention too. Because I started off with twins, I was um, exhausted, like for lack of a better word, all the time. And I wanted them to be able to hold the bottle themselves and self feed as soon as possible. With glass bottles, they can be so heavy and babies, I don't know if you know this, they're not super strong. So I didn't feel confident that they could hold a heavy glass bottle full of milk themselves. So I had just super lightweight plastic bottles and this like feels just as light. So I wouldn't be concerned with them not being able to hold this up. With the Duo, you have no worries about leaching. It's super easy to clean. It can go in the dishwasher. It can be used with sterilizers and it doesn't hold on to odors and residue. Thank you Kiko for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in an anti-colic bottle that features a glass interior without being breakable and is lightweight like this and want to learn more about it, I will have links in the description below to the Kiko Duo bottle. Let's get back to the video. We have, oh, more Cricut stuff. I have all my smart iron on, all the different colors I have. I'm gonna put that in my Cricut storage box. I'm really racking up a lot of shipping boxes. Ugh. I have another whole box and some decor in here. I know I have one more box of Cricut stuff. I'm just gonna pull that out. I wanna keep the label here of what this is because it can sometimes be confusing. This doesn't have a label. I'm just gonna tape this on so that I know what it is, but I don't have to keep that huge manila folder that's not very neatly put on there, but you get the gist. I believe that is all of my Cricut stuff. So I can close this up and store it now. Yay! Any other Ray Dunn fans out there? I don't remember why I got this, but I I don't need this specific Ray Dunn wifey hubby set because I already have it. So actually, in the baby giveaway, I'm gonna add just a bunch of other stuff to the giveaway. I don't need this. It's been sitting in here being unused. This is going in the giveaway. I have this face toner by Skin & Co. I'll put in the giveaway. Got a whole bunch of giveaway stuff in here. Finally came to the box with all of my nail strips. I have so many nail strips because I'm always wearing them. So keeping all of these. Mattress topper that doesn't fit any mattress in our house. So this is going away. This is a keep, it's a sentimental item. It was my grandma's before she passed. It's made in Japan, just a little kitty. So I keep this um, displayed in here. So I need 
a different crafting bucket, I think. I'm like trying to figure out how to make an escape here. Let me show you what my room looks like because I need another storage bin for all these decor items that don't need to be out right now, but I don't wanna get rid of them because I know I'll use them in the future just to decorate around the house for the specific season. But let me show you what this room looks like because I don't even know how I'm gonna escape right now. We got boxes all here. I'm not, I'm not gonna go up too high because then it shows like my address. We got the giveaway stuff. We have just keep stuff here, keep stuff here. All my packages there, my cricket stuff over there. Trash, giveaway, donate. So like I definitely can't get out here, but then I have a ton of stuff in the way over here. I kind of trap myself in. I'll figure out a way out, you guys. I'll be okay. <sighs> oh no, these glasses are gonna break. Oh, I'm too old. I got out. I'm good. Let me get more storage bins. All right, next I got to figure out what of this decor stays and goes. I have a lot of decor for like just springy times. I mean, I know I could technically use the spring stuff now. I probably will use some of it, but I have like fall decor that I don't want out in the middle of July. What stays is going in this large storage bin that I can access in the future. And then what goes will probably just be donate. These are such old glasses. I don't think they look terrible. And I actually need these more than ever right now because we went on a road trip from Texas to Minnesota. It was such a long road trip. But during said road trip, my driving glasses that are prescription, I don't have super like severe eyesight problems. I'm like a 1.5 and I've been a 1.5 since college, but my current driving glasses that are more trendy, I guess you could say got absolutely destroyed on vacation by the kids and they're broken now, like not coming back. So I'm gonna use these until I get replacement trendy glasses. We're getting there, we're getting there. There are just all kinds of memorabilia in here. This is my middle school, like entire class photo. Can you, can you tell? That's me in middle school. I was like 13 or something. Aw, this is me when I was seven in Hawaii. My ears are just as big now as they were then why I usually have them covered. I, I have so much just random memorabilia spread all over my house. And I know according to Marie Kondo, sentimental is supposed to be reserved for the very last thing that you declutter. And I feel good with her take on that. I don't wanna declutter any of this until I can get all the sentimental stuff in one spot. So I'm going to keep all of this in here. I'm gonna store it, you know, with the rest of the storage bins. And my very last declutter that I will ever do will be all the sentimental stuff throughout my house because I'm not ready to get rid of any of this. Okay, some of the stuff that remains here, it's not the first time you've seen it. Like this camcorder that I talked about in more detail and told you why it's a sentimental item to me in my bedroom declutter, which was my last decluttering video a few months ago. And you know where it's been sitting since that declutter? On my floor, in here, in the corner. Obviously, I don't really need this item. It's clearly not as sentimental to me as I thought it was if it was just chilling on the floor. So what am I gonna do with this? Um, I think I'm just gonna have my kids play with it and my kids can use it. I got rid of some digital cameras in my last declutter and several people in the comments told me like, don't get rid of those, your kids can play with them. And you guys are totally right. That's what I'm going to do with this now. My kids can film their own little videos with this and have fun with it. It's just a new toy for them. If it gets broken, I'm not gonna be heartbroken about it because if they don't use it, I have no use for it. So this is theirs now. Okay, 
that is everything in my office. I have decluttered, stored, put away, let me- A few moments later. I felt like I was done and I totally forgot. I still have the entire freaking closet. So let me start piling that up over here. Before I start working through this massive pile here, I'm going to wipe everything down, clean the surfaces as much as I can, and put some of the stuff away in the keep bin and put some of the other stuff into the actual storage area in my attic because I have no room to, to make any progress with the items sitting here behind me till I get that done, so let's do that. Spraying down everything with the Pink Stuff Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I know this looks like wood, it's not. It's, it's like some cheap plasticky covering that imitates wood. So I feel good using a multi-purpose cleaner and not an exact wood cleaner to clean all this. And I just love the scent of the Pink Stuff cleaners. I'm literally just setting items in the vicinity of where they belong so that when I get to the organization portion, everything is roughly where I need it. Okay, I have space to keep going now, so let's get started on the clutter again. I'm getting exhausted again, but let's keep going. What is this? Bulk hot sauce bottles. I have 12 just empty hot sauce bottles in here. I don't know why I got these. I'm just gonna donate them, I guess. Little, little robot that I just broke. These are all from when my kids were really, really little. Like this is my twins' first birthday photo and they're almost five now. They'll be five in a few months. So all these really old photos, I'm gonna put in the sentimental box to go in the attic till I figure out what I wanna do with these. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy crap. This is the laptop case that I used to bring with me to my nine to five job back before I was laid off pre crazy stuff that happened in 2020. So it's been over a year since I was laid off from my nine to five job. And this is the laptop bag that I would bring into work. And I haven't looked in here since I was let go, probably. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I am just missing out on, I guess. Since it's been over a year since I've even looked in this bag, touched this bag, I have a whole bunch of makeup in here that I know I didn't buy the day before I, I stopped using this bag. So I'm just going to toss all this makeup because I'm sure it's expired at this point. More gift cards. I need to keep track of all my gift cards. Okay, now that this is fully emptied out, I'm going to donate this bag because I have no use for it anymore. Clearly, because it's just been sitting in my closet for a year and a half. You guys, I am getting such a massive pile of gift cards at this point, not to mention all the gift cards that are already overflowing my wallet that like this somehow needs to fit into. This is not gonna fit in. It's already bursting at the seams. Is anyone else really 
bad at using up their gift cards. Like I shop at Target all the time, but I probably have three Target gift cards in there that I consistently forget to use. Same with Walmart. I also have Amazon gift cards, Nordstrom. Like thank you family for gifting me gift cards. It's my own fault. I keep forgetting to use them and it's becoming a problem. What I think I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to do this after I stop sweating, I will explain. This next week, I can't commit to it this weekend because it's my husband and my anniversary weekend and we're going out on the town. But after that, next week, I am deciding that it is going to be gift card only week. I have probably 40 plus gift cards I need to use up. I'm not going to allow myself to spend any money on my credit card, cash, nothing. I'm only allowed to buy stuff with gift cards. I'm literally going to take my credit cards and cash out of my wallet so when I'm out and about, I only have my gift cards to use. And I'll still be able to shop at all the same stores I always shop at. I just now will only be able to use up the gift cards. And then same with restaurants. I, I have like so many Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, like McDonald's gift cards. I guess I'm just gonna eat like shit next week, but I'm using up all my gift cards. <laughs> Comment below, will you do that with me? Like if you also have just just an absurd amount of gift cards that have piled up. Can you commit to an entire week of only surviving on your gift cards? Do you have enough that you can do that? I'm interested to see how many other people have this problem. I can't be the only one who forgets about them all the time. This is such a cute swimsuit. I don't know why I didn't just bring it on my vacation, but it's from Target. It's a one piece, but it still has just a tiny little slit, right? You know what? I'm gonna try it on, see if it even fits. I am severely overheating right now in this room with all the lights and it being like a bajillion degrees outside in Texas and my house struggling to keep up with cooling the place down. So this is the perfect excuse to try on this swimsuit right now to see if it even fits and if it's even worth keeping. Okay, we're turning into OnlyFans over here, but this is why I like this swimsuit because it covers up my mummy tummy right here, which if, you, if you've seen my postpartum video, you know I just have tons of stretch marks on my stomach. I'm fine with it, but if I'm being honest, I prefer to have it covered up when I'm out in public. That's a me problem. Everyone else, please do what you wanna do. I hope and I want us to normalize mom bods. Maybe I should wear a bikini, but I'm just really self-conscious, I guess, for just trying to get through the explanation. But I really like this because it shows off the skinniest part of my stomach that has zero stretch marks, which is my upper stomach. So yeah, I really like this swimsuit. If you, I'll do a quick little peep show to show what the top part looks like. I just feel like it's really close to the camera right now, so it's kind of weird. Okay, it's like a bajillion degrees in here, so I'm actually going to wear this swimsuit for a little longer while this place hopefully cools off a little because I am just dying, sweating off my face. It looks like some baby proofing thing, but I definitely didn't buy it. And now it's just trash, because I don't know what this is. This is a new dress, I wanna try this on. You know what? I like this dress. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. It's just a stretchy cottony dress with a tiny little cutout and it's a lot more comfortable than what I was wearing before that I was sweating buckets in. I'm keeping this. It's the only bikini I have left. I used to have like 20 before I had kids. But you know what? I'm gonna force myself to wear this out to a public pool, you know, where, wherever it's appropriate to wear a swimsuit. I'm gonna do that before the end of summer. I'm just not trying to start like an OnlyFans here on YouTube. So I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative on here. This bag here is all of my mom's stuff that she just keeps here for whenever she comes into town. We got everything off the bed. Everything that's on the corner over here is going to be the giveaway of this video. Again, comment below your due date or when you had your baby and your Instagram handle. I will announce it over there. But let me show you where we're at and then we will put away and organize. 
the trash and donate kind of got discombobulated because there was so much, but I'll separate that out properly. We have all the keep stuff that refilled the bin, even though I put a lot of the keep stuff that's a mess, but it's just in the vicinity of where I'm going to organize it. We have another crafting bin. So there's still a lot left to do. Let's get to it. was a long day. I have to go get my kids in the next 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm not doing a full vacuum. I'll have to get to that later, but let me show you where everything is at. First off, like, let's just acknowledge I can actually walk around this room and not fall over anything. We'll start in the closet. The closet is practically empty now. That's all my mom's stuff that she likes to keep here because she visits fairly frequently and she likes to have just some extras on hand so that she doesn't have to pack up every time. We have the touch up paint for the whole house there. My husband's moving whatever the hell that thing is. I have just some extra storage containers for just in case I need it. My travel bag, that little fur thing that I use for photos sometimes. That is completely clear, but I don't wanna get rid of it because I know eventually I may fill it up. Lighting for videos and a fan. Otherwise, it's completely clear in here. So I'm so happy. This is almost like an entire room on its own. Then we have the bed which all the bedding is not on this bed because after I took off all the bedding and I was moving the stuff in the washer to the dryer, I found out that our dryer is broken. And so I didn't wanna do a load of laundry and have it sit and get mildewy until our dryer can be fixed. And then we have the bookcase, which still looks really full, but it's not overflowing at least. And it'll look less full soon because that is all the giveaway stuff that I just wanted to store in plain sight so I don't forget about it. I have a spare blanket there. I have all of the filing papers right there. My nail strips, just a light because it kind of gets dark over here sometimes and I don't have a little side table here. There's not enough room for it. So a light just in case my mom ever needs it. I have some extra cameras and then just decor up top. Then my desk is actually usable and clean. I'm just realizing someone colored on the back of that chair. Um, <laughs> I have all my crafting stuff right there there. Then I have these drawers as organized as I can get them just with my Dollar Tree organizers. I have so many cords. I have the extra cartridges for this thing in here. Tape because I'm shipping stuff out all the time. I am so happy. The end of these declutters feels so good. I get an endorphin high. I feel on top of the world. I'm so happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was motivating for you and that you start decluttering your life because it feels so good when you are all done. If you wanna watch more of my decluttering videos, I should have playlists floating over the screen at this point with decluttering, cleaning, shopping, just any of my videos. Click on one of those and we can keep hanging out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.